So I would have up, ooh, I just saw an invisible tick in ARRS. Is everybody there? <clears throat> wow, there's a look at that visible tick there in ARRS. Hmm. Maybe we'll watch W and LB. LB is the top watch. Let's look at W again. This is not going to be a hard day today. It's going to be an easy day, but you have to pay attention and you have to watch more than one thing at a time. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's watch, after that invisible tick, let's watch W and LB. So W is gonna be here in the middle. This has a big target. <coughs> and LB is the main gap. Realistically, $50 is the first target. Look here, this might go right now. Well, let's see. So W's in the middle, LB is the main one. Market is higher today. Wow, man, is the market higher. 240 in the SPY today. There you go. We're gonna get there. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Let me just look at Netflix. You could, you could put it at 225, and if you have time, you could flip it and pull it down to two, or you could put it at two. I'll put it set at two over there. Okay, all right. I think if you want to make money day trading, then you gotta, you got to put an order out in case this hits because you won't have time to flip it, right. unless you just sit here and stare and watch us. Right. So I think there's kind of too many good yeah. shorts today. Yeah. <clears throat> Good luck, everyone. Then do the W, the W? Then you have, you're not requesting stuff, Dave. You have to call them. You have to call and email them. You could have done that at nine o'clock to request the shorts. No, you have to request the shorts. Something's not right there. If you don't have anything to short today of any of these three shorts, then you have to call the broker. You're the only one. You email the broker and request the shorts or something's, I don't know, something's not set up right with your account. There's no explanation for that at all. Everything's gonna have a spread, so just be aware of it. So today's probably gonna be an easy day, but you better pay attention because one of these things could reverse swoosh and then it's gonna be off and then we'll flip to the other one. Quit. <coughs> I think LB is the one though here. <clears throat> Good luck. I'm stopping with LB. Yes. It's probably gonna be a 50 cent stop. It could be smaller, but I'm gauging it. Here, look, this is gonna go to 50. It's even better if it bakes 50 before the open. It's got 26 cents in more than a minute. Look, I bet it does. Wow. Is this a good gap? In an ideal world, LB opens and pops, sets up and goes and breaks. Let's see if it does it. What are you risking today? Okay. Okay, good luck everyone.
Didn't break 50, so that's the first target. <clears throat> And this is one, make sure it opens, make sure it opens on time. <laughs> okay, just wait. It's fine here. Okay, this W is wild, which I said it could be wild. It's wild. <clears throat> okay, LB. Wow, look how wild this is. This is going to be a big stop. 24 by 5110. 24 by 5110. If and don't jump the gun on this cuz it could have a much much better entry. This is LB 24 by 5110. So and don't jump the gun. It's a big stop. If it has a better entry, I'll give it. It's got to be 5110 and don't jump the gun. This hasn't set up yet. I'm taking this off. Focus on LB, it looks good. <clears throat> and hopefully it'll give a better entry. Well, you gotta wait. Hopefully it'll have a better entry. 31. I mean, uh, 40, let's do 39, 39 by 5120, 39 by 5120, 39 by 5120. It hasn't hit yet. This is much, much bigger than I thought in the stops. This is probably going to hit here. 39 by 5120, 39 by 5120 LB. Don't take it until it fits in case it gives a better entry or a different stop. Nope, this didn't hit yet, but it's going to work. This is going to work. Stay with it, people. Stay with it. And it keep can keep having a better entry, better entry, better entry. But this is still valid. 50, uh, 39 by 5120. I'm trying to give you the number before because this is expensive a little bit here. 39 by 5120. This is going to hit. It's going to work. And, but don't take it until it does. 39 by 5120. Do it 59 by 20. 59 by 20, do it if it hits. 59 by 20, you can do it if it hits. 59 by 20, you can do it if it hits. You can do it if it hits. 59 by 20. Resize yourself. This is going to roll over. It hasn't yet. Here, right now. Be in it. 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 Take it. This is going to work. This is the best gap. It was just getting ready to break. Did you take it? Are you in? Are you in? Huh? Yes. Man, I knew this was the best gap. You're lucky. Here, everyone should be in it. Let me look at the market. This, that thing is going to roll over today. I'm glad we stay with it. This is going to fall like crazy. LB. LB is dropping. And you could take half off at 50. You should hold this longer. Here, here, this is it. Try to hold it. Try to hold it. This is going to be a big trade. This is going to be a big trade. It probably goes to $49 today. Everyone should be in it. Discipline Dave, you got to call your broker. If you don't have this to short or anything to short, then something's wrong with your account. Because you would have had one of these. <clears throat> Let me just look at the rest. Nope, this flipped. Oh my, Lanta, we picked the best thing. I knew this was the one, here. All right, let's see where it landed. All right, just verify with everyone. Everyone should have the stop at 51.20. It did touch 50. You could take half out right there if you wanted to. You didn't have to, but you could have. What did you do? Did you take half out at all? I didn't even see that it hit 50. <clears throat> yeah. One more drop through the break of the low, you could take the whole thing or you could take half out. But I think this goes to $49 today. But I don't know what time. Yep, it touched right on that 50 number. Look at that. Let's see what it does. This 
This is really going to roll over if it breaks 50. But did anybody get out there? I said you could take half out. That was the first target. It's really going to roll over, though, if it breaks 50. So you're kind of you're kind of chancing it here holding it, but it's going to just collapse if it breaks $50. You could almost put half the if you if you could almost put half of your uh, trade at break even if you're holding this whole thing cuz the thing could collapse and that's kind of why it's I'm saying to kind of hold it. But you could put half the stop at break even here. Here 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 here. <clears throat> Best trader got out at 50.06. Holy crap, that's a good exit. Bob had the offer at 50.02, but it didn't fill you. That's a good sign. If you can't get out and you're short, it's kind of a good sign that it's collapsing. <laughs> and no one wants to take you out. Hey, that's something, though, you have to be aware of. Here, here it goes. Wow. Yay, yay, yay. Here it goes. Everybody pay attention. LB, here it goes. It's going to break $50. Nice call. Here, time of the day is 9.36. Is this happening so early? Here it goes. Here it goes. Beautiful call. See, you're up. How much are you up? Okay, that's a good amount of money. Now let's see if it breaks 50. No, it didn't yet. And the market isn't higher yet. What happened with this? Nothing. I, I, don't, I don't know if the, where was this at. We can look at this later. Nope, it didn't do it yet. All right, what's everybody doing? Some people got out at 50, some people didn't. Didn't break it yet. I believe that it does, but look at it. Here. Here it goes. So if you want to protect yourself, if you're still in the whole thing, which I think is perfectly great um, put the stop half the stop at your break-even point it did not break 50 yet it's really gonna try to though 937 so what did you get filled at Sixty-eight. Here it goes. So let's see if we can get a dollar out of this today. Yeah, this is the best gap. We'll go over this when we're done. W broke very hard. This didn't do anything right yet, but it's trying. W went. Hard, but went. Did anyone do W? Did anyone do anything other than the LB? Here's LB. Pay attention. And some people had their water out and didn't get filled. So you're really going to have to take this and do the red. You're going to have to get out when is it's going red. Or you may not get filled. Here it goes. It's going to break 50. Get a big push down, and I'm going to tell you when to take it. Here it goes. It's really going to break hard now. When it breaks 50. No, it didn't do it yet. Look. It didn't do it yet. Holy crap. It's really going to go when it breaks that number, though. Look. It didn't do it yet. Look how it's struggling. Here it goes. No, here. You should be able to get a buck out of this. Try to hold it so you can get a dollar out of it today, everybody. It's a good, good short. Dubaz is in it. Oh, I didn't do it yet. Look. <gasps> Look at that sucker. Here it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Here, here it goes. Here it goes right now. It could bounce at 49.75 if it doesn't break 80. Here it's going. Here, here, your hand is on the button. Take it, take it. Get out, get out, get out. Just get out. Take it, take it, take it, get out. You, I'm talking to you. I know. All right, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're talking to them. You're talking to them. I don't know if you know what I'm talking to you. How much are you up? You should be up 450 bucks, something like that. Well, I hit you at 500, but it's closed now at 486. 46. Congratulations. Thank That's you. good. Wonderful. Perfect. Phillips out. What's everybody else doing? 
It's a quick $500 in the first nine minutes of the day. You can't complain. No. You can't complain about that. No, no, and if you had risked $1,000, it would have made 1000 Yes. But yesterday, you would have sweated a bullet. Um, I didn't work yesterday. What's up? Susanna made $900. Very nice. Susanna is killing it. Killing it. Uh, forty-nine seventy-five. I still think this keeps going though. Who's got the mojo to hold this down at forty-nine today? Because you could get it. You could get it. Dubod's is probably the only one. Uh, shower singers out with eight hundred bucks. Congratulations. Thanks to me. You're welcome, Susanna. Yep. Here, it's gonna try one more time. You get here. I'm gonna blow it up for anybody. Is anybody still in this? Forty-nine bucks is gonna go, but I have no idea what time. And the market is probably gonna hold somewhere. Forty-nine seventy-five. Dubod's is still in it because he likes to trade all day long. <laughs> Dubod's, if something doesn't work in the day, Dubod's holds it overnight. <laughs> because he knows if Melissa's pick doesn't work today, it'll work tomorrow. I'm pretty certain he says to himself. <laughs> all right, let's see where this goes. Did anybody do the other one? W or anything else? Wow, what did I say today when I got up this morning? I looked at the charts and I looked at everything. And before we started talking, I said today's going to be an easy day. And there it was. Rumi made 455. Pyro's out of LB now. Great trade. Good for you. Is anybody still in this except for Dubods? You're 4950. 4950 if it breaks, you might get. $49. Here, it's gonna try to break the low. Under 75. Look at that. Beautiful. Big fudge made 450. Let's see where it goes. So, here, let's watch it. Journey Woman, how did you do? Journey Woman, are you still in there or are you out? Did anybody besides Discipline Dave not do this? He didn't have any short today, which you got to get corrected. Here, here, LB. Look, wow. $49.50. It's going to go to $49, so, but I don't know what time. 10 o'clock, maybe. Journey Woman is still in it. She's swinging for the fences today. Stop at 49.90. Here it goes. It's going to try to break 75. See, see, once here, let's just talk about this. Once it broke that this area here at 50, it was a goner. And so you some people did get out here, and that was fine. That was fine. That was the first target. It actually set up better than expected with the rally, but here it goes. Here it goes. It's still going to keep going. It's going to go to $49. But anyways, I really felt like this had a high probability of breaking 50, and if it would, it would collapse. Now, it's only gone under that by 32 cents, but now it's broken. It's really, really broken. I mean, it was broken in the gap. Where did this go here? 68. Rams traders out half at 49.80, back half stopped down to 50.05. Okay. Coella Bear missed the entry switching between 50.29 or 39 to 50.49, but did you get it? You got it at least something, Koala Bear, didn't you? Tell me you got it somewhere. If you don't get the exact entry, remember what I said? And I said this to you on the phone, Koala Bear. What did I say to you on the phone? I said take it with 100 shares and then figure out your sizing and put the stop in. That's what I said to you two weeks ago. Take it, put the stop in with 100 shares and then figure out your sizing later so you get the trade. Here it goes, LB. This is a goner. All right, let's look at everything else. Some of you are still in it. This was very hard. So W looked wild. I thought it would be wild. Anyways, it rallied up. Not a small stop here either. Where did it go? It did move a buck. This did move a buck. Did anybody do it? I didn't call this. Now it flipped. ARRS is trying to go. It looks strange though. What was the other one? Jack? Didn't work at all. And I didn't rate this. New York City Bob, I hope you didn't do it. Wasn't crazy about it. Let's look at the market. Market is red for now. 
Don't expect this to last. It'll be really interesting. Let's just say we sell up all day today where we land. Right in here into the cushiony support, hold in the rally probably tomorrow. But we could hold still today. We're trying to situate ourselves on some support that we're gonna we're making up our own supports. This is a new support. This is a new area. The market has never traded at this price before. So it's 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 making its own supports. It's happening live. You don't know. The tiniest support could be 23650. Then it could have another baby support. It's making its own supports. It's never traded at this number before. Here, here it goes. Here, Journey Woman, great day for you. See if it breaks 50. And if it doesn't, I take it right here, 49.50. If it doesn't break 49.50, here it just did. Holy crap. Look at that. It's going to go to $49. Here, let's just watch it. This is it. This is the exit for everybody. Your hand is on the button. You're not going to get one penny back on this. It has dropped ever since it opened. This is a beautiful trade. Here, it's going to break 42. Wow, look at that. How many shares did you have of this today? 600. So 600 times 30 cents. You could have made another 200 bucks here. It's not that big of a deal. Here, I think this is the morning exit. Right here. I think you should be out. It's a great trade. Dubaz is out. Trading moment, are you out? There, that's the morning exit. It's a beautiful trade. But this could go to $49. I just don't know what time. I mean, it, it's got within 40 cents. It's close enough. Journey Woman had a very good day. Here, it's going to try to go right now again. Look at that. All right, everyone should be out of this. But it still could go to 49 I just don't know when. And it's dropped every second it, since it opened. So let's go over it. Great day. Stock open. And I stayed on top of it, on top of it, on top of it, on top of it, on top of it. As I'm calling the numbers and I'm doing it, you've got to pay attention. I did say today, what did I say? Today's going to be an easy day, but you better pay attention to being on your tippy toes. You did. And that means whether it's I'm calling this one or I'm looking at three things at the same time, you might have to flip it in and look at a different chart. So you've got to pay attention. And you don't want to take it too early. So... I didn't want anyone to take it too early. And I said, don't take it too early. Don't take it too early. And then I actually did call it before this bar opened and broke. I felt like this was going to hold and it did. It ended up being a better stop than the original one over here. But I mean, this held. This couldn't have held any better. Look at that. This stock is weak. Steelheart made $1,200 today. Oh, my Lanta. Wow. Steelheart, where did you, you must have held it down a little while, you must have risked more. Here it's still going. Is anyone still in this? I don't think anyone should be, but look at it. <laughs> look at it. Now, what would you have made today if you risked a thousand dollars? You would have made a thousand bucks. All right, we'll talk about that when we're done. Yes. Steelheart's laughing out loud. You should be <laughs> clapping. Your secretary should be jumping up and down at your desk. Yeah, it's giving you a round of applause. Okay, let's look at the market. Now, is this working today because the market is red? Yes or no? What do you think? Do you think that this worked as well as it did today because of the market? Well, it must have helped it, yes. You think that the market helped LB go today? That's your professional opinion. What does everyone else think? No, I don't think so, no, no. Now you just changed your mind. Yes, I have. <laughs> because most of the time they do work by themselves anyway, don't they? But the market must help it, mustn't it? Here's how I look at this. It didn't hurt it. No, quite. No, I don't think it helped exactly it, but it didn't hurt it. Yes. That's how I looked at this today. Now, I didn't go and flip and look at the market till late because I was on top of this to make sure we got it. But I'm telling you that it didn't hurt it. Well, that's basically what I'm saying. Yes. Okay. So you agree with me? Yes. Of course. Because if this had, had rallied like a banshee today and blew up to 240 in the first five minutes of the day, would this have set up at 933? I don't know. I still think this would have worked. I still think this would have set up, but it might have gone broke and then bounced off 50 and flipped if the market had screamed higher. It didn't, and this kept going, so the market didn't hurt this. So in other words, this, this is going to a bigger target today because it doesn't have the market against it. I, that's why I said then 49. And I did put 49 in the room this morning. You know, I did say that as a target, but 50 was the first target. And this is where some of these ones we do, and some people did get out at 50 today. Some people, two people got out at 50 today, and one person tried and couldn't. But you, this is where it comes to the point you say, wait a minute, do I hold this to get more out of this when I don't know for sure? And that's where you're chancing it, and that's where you, where you have to decide. 
But that's when then I said you could put half the trade at break even because you are chancing it. And I even said it out loud. If you hold this down to break 50 because it did bounce at 50 twice and didn't break it, but I felt it would just collapse if it did and it's collapsed. This here, let's count the green bars in this actually since the open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight green bars in 20 minutes. So that is actually, you know, and these aren't even big green bars. These are like small, tiny ones. Look, it's still going. Well, good, great job, everybody that did this today. Congratulations, because it takes guts to short something like this. Why? Stock closed the night before at 58.13. Opened up this morning at 50.50. Wow, stock app down almost $8 overnight. Takes guts to short something like this, and it's still going. Look, <gasps> it could even break 49 now. I have no numbers after that. Ranch Trader said he thinks it has nothing to do with it today, and Dubad said it was dead on the open. It was dead on the open. Everyone was giving me ideas, and I want you guys to keep giving me ideas because I've missed a couple of things on the scanner that Journey Woman has even gotten. Late gappers. Here, this is going to 49. Wow. Look at that. Um, but this really was the best one. Now, what was the problem that I had with this? It did a... It did a it did an invisible tick, this ARRS right before the open, which set me off of it. You guys saw that when I had the chart up. That bothered me. I didn't like that. And then W, I thought, was very wild to begin with because it was at $35 this morning. Then it was at $38. Here, I'm just going to put this back. This looks crazy. Look, $34.76 it was at this morning. And then all of a sudden it wasn't. And I thought, eh. The other thing I didn't like about this was this. It doesn't have enough data. It's only open for two years and a couple of months. I don't like things like that. We did something like this the other week and then it didn't work right. I just don't like those things. I like to stay with something that has more information. And you know, I mean, honest to goodness, these real retailers are taking a beating. And I don't, I don't look at this stuff. But for people that love this stuff, these things are taking a beating. Here, let's look at JCPenney. Is anyone shopping anymore? I don't, I don't think anyone is. I, I thought, I'm not shopping anymore. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I haven't. I can tell you the last time I went to the store. I haven't shopped all year. It's, no. Mm -mm. These retailers are taking a beating. Here, let's look at JCPenney. All right, market's gonna try to hold in here. What did I say? First level of support is 236.50. Let's see if it if it does it. If the market holds the first level of support that it's making of its own, which is 236.50, this bounced off at 52. This could be the this is the first level of support. I don't know if it holds it. I'm not gonna call this long here, and I don't think anyone should do anything after this today. But you know, I think everyone should be out. Let's see where did it go? 49.28. Rams trader took a quarter out, 49.25, and holding the last quarter with a trailing stop. Susanna held toll, just got out the same profit of $550. So today, you made $1,400. You hit over the $1,000 mark. Wow. That's amazing. All right, let's go over toll. Does anyone want to go over anything else you're in right now? If not, we're going to go over toll from yesterday. I don't think anyone should do anything else today, and there's no reason to do anything else today. And whether you get out of this at 50 or 49.25 or 49.50 or 49.68 or wherever you get out of this, here it's still going. It's still going. This is crazy. But see, this is where the element of chance comes comes in, and you say if you're still holding this, it's an element of chance because you're up a lot of money. Yes. It looks great. The chart's perfect. You don't have the market rallying over the high yet. The market's red still this morning, even though I think it goes green or could. It's an element of chance to hold it, so why take it when your goal is basically in? But it's the same concept with options, where there's an element of chance that you don't, you don't want to take. You don't want to take when you're up money, because you never know what could happen. Because this has fallen all morning, and eventually there are people here that will cover, that are short the stock, that will cover. Although I think it keeps going lower, because this is mostly selling. This is mostly selling today, which is one of the reasons I saw it and said this is the best one to do. It is 
just a goner. All right, we'll go over toll. Did toll gap up today? Did it really? Yes, it did. Now, okay, who did, I didn't make an official option call on this yesterday, but I did say this was a good trade. If it didn't go to 35 yesterday, I said it will today probably. So who did the option in the toll? This was yesterday's, it was a long, it was hard, but it worked. And Philip ended up making $450 in it. We'll go over it. Some of you held it overnight. I wouldn't say you should do, do that all the time, but I guess some of you did. You felt the conviction, but I wouldn't say to do that every time. Sue made money in it, or you did the option? Do bods held it overnight? Man, you people are getting crazy. Two people held it overnight as a swing trade from the day trade yesterday, because it went back up to the high, and that's where Philip got out. And you had a great exit, by the way. Congratulations. Yes. Awesome. That was, you got out of the high of the day. I did. So see, sometimes you will do that. Yes. I was worried about you that you were going to, though. <laughs> I was like, I, I was worried about you. No, I was on my keyboard. Yeah, okay. Ranch Trader is still in LB. He's not getting out until it goes to $40, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go over Tull. It looks fine. It looks good. This is holding today, and actually, let's just look at Tull is green. The market is red. The SPY is red, and Tull is green. So this was a good bullish gap, but it was very hard yesterday. Why? The first trade failed. The first trade failed. So you to make money in this yesterday, you took the stop, and you had to retake it wherever you retook it. Now, what I ended up discussing with Philip. In fact, what, do you know what you did with this? Do you want to explain to me what you did with this? You mean the out? Here, right. why don't you explain to the room what you did in this? I'm going to have Philip explain to you guys what he did in this so I know that you know what you did in it so you can do it again without me. <laughs> So Philip could have got out of this yesterday break even. I told him what to do so he could get out of it with profit. Which, by the way, it held by a penny. Did you notice that? Yes, I did. Because I was just about to get stopped out. Here, come over here. Just do it here. Okay. But just don't step on the rug. <laughs> You're not allowed to step on the rug. I got a new rug now. It's, it's cream. Okay, explain to the room what you did. And I'll, I'll move the chart. Here was Tom. Right. And? The last red bar, that one there, mm -hmm. I bought some more, added to my position. At Where? Point. What price did you add? Um, you don't remember? Me. No, I do remember. Yes, I do. I okay. Yeah, go ahead. I did it at 34. No, you added no, it at 90. No, 90. 90. Yes, yes. 90. But I lifted the stop. I had to stop under there. Yes. And then I lifted the stop to... What you don't tell me, tell them. Yes, I am. Okay. 79. So you moved the stop up. I did, which reduced the risk. Okay, where did where did that number come from? Do you know where I got that number? I can't remember where you got that number now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've slept since then. That's okay. So your average price was what? 34. It pulled my price down, which obviously made the position better, with 3,000 shares. Mm -hmm. So you took more. I took more, lifted mm -hmm. to 3,000. Mm -hmm. It took off. When it broke 15, that was why you said, if it didn't... Break, it plowed through it, the number. Yes, it did. It plowed it, I watched it. it plow through Yeah, it, it absolutely plowed but through If it had held, then that's where I would have taken it. And In it would fact, let's, put my position. let's look at the one minute. It plowed through that resistance, because you can't really see it here, actually. It doesn't look like any resistance on the 15 minute. Let's go back. But do you understand what your risk was? Your average price was 34. Oh, yes. You had to stop down. at 79. Yes. So you weren't right even down. risking then. No. How much were you risking? Here, let me. It's 500, if I remember right. Here was the resistance. Yeah. And that's when it went over it. See? Yes. So it plowed right over it. It did. It didn't even, it didn't even look back on it. And I took it out at 12, 27. 27 you took it out? That's the time. Oh. Yeah, you took it out at the high of the day. Yeah. 
Yeah. And Chinchilla emailed me. He, he must have held it, too. Sedona trading didn't get tossed or LB. Wow, you got to do it. Okay, did that, yeah, he was talking, he was talking pretty low. I wanted him to explain it. I just wanted you to know that you understood what you did, and you did understand what you did. Yes. Which was what? Say it again. Not the chart, but why did you do you what you the did? App. You mean the app to bring the price down? Why did you do anything that you did in it? To put myself into profit in the day. To add no. to it, to, to obviously take me. Please explain. You explain. I want you to learn that when it's holding, <laughs> if it if it does what it did yesterday, right. which it held in the higher time frame, that you can either hold it. You didn't have to add ah, more. Ah, yes. You mean when or, you looked at the hour? Yes. yes, yes it never set up on the higher time frame, so it never failed on the higher time frame. Yes. It took yes. so long to go in the morning, it never set up on the higher time frame until you added to the trade. Yes. It never set up till there, so it was okay. Right. It, unfortunately, it set the low of the day, not at 9.30, but at 9.45, but it held it. Yes. And it then it set up. It never set up before then, so it was never a failure on the larger time frame, and it wasn't on the daily chart. In the daily chart, it was good, and the gap rated good, and that's why it worked. If it had set up and failed on a larger time frame, I would have never told you to do that. Right. Actually, let me go look at the 30 minute. I want you to understand that so you can never do it, but again, if you want to yourself, this is a nice move. This is a 30 minute move. And you still ended up risking the same amount I or did. less. I did. You didn't put yourself at more of a risk yeah. and you had more size. And that's how you ended up with profits. You made yes. your goal for the day even See, though you were down on the day. I did. That's a good thing. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, well, perfect. Yeah. So you were very happy with that. You? Are you happy with that? You were happy with yes. it yesterday. Yeah. I was down eight hundred and fifty five dollars. I know, and you I, ended up making four fifty. Yeah. Made four fifty. So you really happy. made how much Very in that happy. trade? Thirteen hundred dollars. Yes. Yes. So 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 then why the why then if then that's what I'm saying. If you if you come back from being down and still make four fifty, you should be happy when you make four fifty when you just start the day making four fifty. Don't you agree? Yes. <laughs> You does that not sound convincing? No, yes. it doesn't. Yes, it I doesn't. Did. No one's convinced at all. <laughs> Here, look, this is at 49. Ranch Trader's still in it. Wow, Ranch Trader. Chinchilla got out with $30. That's, that's fine, Chinchilla. That's okay. And Ranch Trader is the only one left in this, and it looks amazing. Now, you could have made a thousand bucks in this today, but you know, until you get better at taking more risk and doing these, I think you did the right thing here today. And again, I said to get out, but it really never, I mean, this never rallied. I mean, look at this crazy. It looks like it's gonna, it's, it looks like it's gonna break 49. It actually had no other entry. Yes. I mean, it never even had two green bars in a row. Look at that. It just broke down very It's nice. just nuts. Yes. Where is this 49? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna break it. But if you get to the point where you can start taking a thousand dollar risk again, which you could have done is you could have taken it half out here. Yes. Okay, you could have yep. taken half that here and booked a couple hundred bucks. Then you could have kept the stop with the original stop. Then you could hold it on down, hold it on down, hold it on down. You can just keep holding it. You can watch it. And you could just bar by bar it every time and try to get it down to the bigger number, knowing that you'll never, you'll, you wouldn't lose on the day. You could put the stop at break even for the rest and try to hold it down to the bigger target, which was 49. You know, that's another way that you can start trading once you start to get ease back into your risk. So... The point I was trying to make to Philip yesterday or the day before, whatever the day was, here, it's going to break 49. Wow. This is a good guy. Mm -hmm. Is that you don't always make more money when you risk more if, it, if you're bothered by it. <laughs> if you're bothered by yes. the risk amount, if you're not comfortable with it, you may, look, it just broke 49. Well, that depends on the number of times you have to take it, though, doesn't it, as well, which obviously fell into the position yesterday with me. It doesn't if matter. If I risked more, it then does... I wouldn't have taken it so many times. No, 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 no. If you had risked $1,000 <laughs> in the first trade yesterday, you would have been down 1000 bucks, and I don't think you would have been comfortable. And I don't think you would have retaken it. And I don't think you would have made $450 in yesterday because you would have, wouldn't have retaken it. Even if I had taken it again. Yes. I would have stopped too. No matter what, it wouldn't have mattered. The point is the first trade, when it failed, I don't think you would have done anything else. You would have been down a thousand bucks in the day. So therefore, if you are not, if you're not playing it out, playing mm. chart, if you're not playing the gap, if, yes. you're not full, if you're not fully committed to playing it out, 
Yes. And if you know you can't fully commit to playing it out, then your risk is probably too high for what you can stomach. If you're full on committed to playing it out, then you full on play it out and you make the money and you just and you just do it. But I'm telling you though that um, you got to know that yourself, and mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to help you work out. And I think you are seeing that yes. now. Yes, yes, but it's, but obviously you've got to take into consideration how many times you are willing to take it. It doesn't matter. You played that sucker hard yesterday, and that's why you made money, and that's why you're happy with yourself. I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, exactly. And I am happy. Yes. yes, and I and I I do that sometimes after I close out the room when I don't have a good day, just nobody knows it. When I see something's going to work, I say, I'm not losing today. I could probably almost never lose. <laughs> yes. I would just teach people how to do it, but yes. I showed you how to do that yesterday, and, and I made you play it hard, and I knew it was going to work. But, I mean, when you get to a point when you become good at trading and reading charts, you can play something, and you just play it out, and you can almost ne I mean, I said to my mom last year, I'm like, I bet I could never lose. But you got it, but there's a fine, fine line where you're on that, you're right on there, on the edge, because you got to be able to stomach it. And if you can't, then you can't do it. So you just take the one loss and you stop. And you could do that. You could risk $1,000 and stop every day if the trade doesn't work in the first setup. You could lose 1000 on those days and the days that it works, you make it. But I don't, I think you're better off doing what you did yesterday. Yes. I think you're better off risking $500 and I think you're gonna make Definitely. more money. Even though yes. it, doesn't, it doesn't, it seems like it doesn't make sense, but I think you're not ready yet to stomach what has to be done to play the thing hard. You'd rather know that you won and got it or like today, if you were in more of a groove with these, you might have held us a little bit longer today. Yes, I would. But I forced you to take it. You did. Because I'm forcing you to make sure that you well, understand I'm the importance you. I'm of the what money. You say to yeah, me. yes. So I yes, am doing yes, yes. Yes, yes. But yes, it's tempting when it's just collapsing slowly. Yeah. To, to hold it. Yeah, yes, yeah. Definitely. But I think right now it's more important for your mental state to get out with profit every day, make your goal consistently. That's the most important thing, and that's the thing I want you to get out of being here. I want you to be more consistent in your in what you're doing by getting out so you care about the fact that it's 480 bucks. I want you to care about that. I want you to care and act like that's 48000 or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Because if you care that that's $480, the market's going to feel that you care and it will take better care of you. I don't know if this makes any sense. But I told you yesterday that we were going to get a good one today. You did. Yes, you did. What did I say exactly? Do you remember? I don't remember, but you did say, I remember you saying, we will get a good one today. I said the market's going to yes. give us a good one today because this was hard today. Yes. This was hard today and we did the best job we could have done yes. in it and the market will give us an easy one to tomorrow. Yeah. I thought it was going to be HPQ. Let's look at this. <clears throat> it was and it gapped up and this was not a good long but let's see what it did but but that's the understanding that I had why you, about the market why you'd ever panic when you have one bad day even if you had ended up losing yesterday there was no reason to panic because the market always gives you something good than the next day so you have to believe and have the but conviction in the panic. market I wouldn't panic over one day you would have felt shitty though I didn't say panic. You no, would have no, felt no, crappy. No, no. Here, let's look at this. Oh, days. this went off. You like have a three days like person. that. And yes, you would. I would. Wow, this went off. I didn't think this would go like this at all. Did anyone do HPQ? I didn't rate it, but I didn't think it'd ever go like this. Look at that. Wow, did this take off? No, I never would have thought in a million years it would have done it, but I didn't rate it. Twenty cent stop in here plus a cushion. Let's see where it went. Did anyone do HPQ? It was two R's. Did anyone do HPQ at all? Did anyone do anything at all? Everyone should have a good day. I mean, no one should not have a good day. And I think everyone does have a good day. And some of you had the biggest days you've ever had. So that's great. So Steelheart had a great day, which she needed. Susanna is killing it. The month of February would be the best month she ever had in her life. Um, and, and you're doing well, too. You're doing well too. Monday was closed. Tuesday we did nothing. Mm -hmm. You're up a thousand bucks for the week. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Is anyone have any questions or want to go over anything? This is still going, but I don't think there's any reason for anyone to be in it. Rance Trader is finally out, and it's looks like it's just going to keep collapsing. Everyone's doing really well, and I'm very, very pleased. And and. I'm trying to instill some discipline in some of you. Obi-Wan Kenobi, did you do this today? And what did you get out of it? Um, 
Is HP, HPQ going to go up? You mean past? Hold on, I got a bunch of questions here. HPQ, is it going to keep going up after this? I don't know. I don't really like it. It went up today. You could have played it today. Do I think it follows through here? Probably not. I'm not going to make any long-term call in this. The answer is no, Sue. So. Uh, Rumi did Sina with puts. Sina with puts. You just went long it the other day, didn't you? I don't think anyone got filled. Here, look at the Netflix. Let's look at it. Yeah, I've got an order out too. It hasn't hit it. No, it's, I'm sure it hasn't hit it because the market's red right now. It would have made a sound otherwise. This fell, I don't know why. What happened here with this here, Rumi? This fell like a, whew, what happened with this? This had earnings. It gapped up and fell hard on the earnings. Well, I wouldn't have done it, but you're up. Uh, Netflix? No, you're not getting out of this today. If you're in it, it's red. So you have to hold it through tomorrow or next week. But it could have ran up this morning. That's why I said you put the order out. It didn't fill you today. No, it's not going to fill anyone today. So you're going to hold it through. It gapped up to 144.50. You did LB with a little profit. How to cut your standard size. Good day today. Okay, good. What's the difference between toll and HPQ gap? Very different. It's a very different. This doesn't look anything like this, Sue. So. No, it's not the size of the gap either. It's the overall chart. When you look at this, what do you see? We did talk about this yesterday. And when you look at this, what do you see? It's like nowhere near the same, Sue. So. Right in the room, what you guys think about HPQ and toll for sale. And I'm going to quick look up what's out tonight. I'm just going to take the chart off here for a second and look up what's out for tonight before everybody goes. <laughs> 